Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very, very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. In today's reading, we're going to look into what do your spirit guides want to say to you? There are three pals over here. This is the first pal, the green heart, the second pal, the white heart, and the third pal, the blue heart. So please take a moment, meditate on the cards and use your intuition to choose the pal. You could also pause the video to meditate on them. And if you're ready, let's move to the first pal, the green heart. Welcome pal one, all those who have chosen the green heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into what do your spirit guides want to say to you? Okay, so we have here strength, judgment, peace, Dissipating, Queen of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and Writing. Okay. Right, I'll just tune into the energy here. Pa one. So first of all, very strongly, I'm sensing this from your spirit guides that they want to say they're very proud of you. You don't know how much effort you've put in. I feel like you are underestimating yourself and you don't value yourself that much, but they really value you. And they know what all you've been through and what all you're currently going through as well. And here they want to say like, they are so, so proud of you. And they want to say that all your hard work is going to pay off. It's not going to go in vain. You're going to land up being so happy. So we have a discard of strength. So they can see the amount of courage you're putting in, in every situation of yours. You're trying to face every situation as it comes and not run away from it. And that's what's something they are so proud of. You're trying to handle the situation to your best capacity and they can see that. And they feel like they've seen a transformation in you. I don't think this is how you were before. Before maybe you were someone who used to shy away from responsibilities or run away from conflicts or run away from a difficult situation. But here you are right now facing the situation very boldly and very courageously. I feel like saying this to you, but it's like fear will get afraid when you get too close to it as well. Mm, that's the strength you have in you right now. It's because you've become so bold and so courageous, all the negativity is going to start just getting erased there from your life because you had the courage to face it. The best way to remove the fear of darkness is actually to face it and that's what you're doing right now. And with the judgment, I do feel like you are going to get um, the benefits of your good karma. And they're just waiting for their time. It's already started, I feel. I feel like um, the beautiful things have started flowing in your life. But you're probably not seeing it yet, I'm sensing. You're still not seeing it yet. But it is going to be very prominent very soon. With Eight of Pentacles, though, I feel like um, some of you could be actually overworking. Sorry, overworking. And this is one thing which they feel like... Um, you need to slow down. It's, um, it's a feeling where it's getting a bit too much at times, where it makes you feel very, very exhausted. This could be also like a lot of responsibilities on your shoulder, but it's just so much which you're doing. And it could also be your mind running. Your mind is... Let me just bring this aside. It could be as well with a spin here. I feel like it could be your mind constantly running. So where maybe you're thinking of new ideas, new strategies, but there is something here I feel where it's just you're constantly on the go. And this is one thing they want you to just relax because here we can see the fruit. So your hard work is paying off and your hard work will further pay off. So they're asking you to please slow down now. Okay. And then we have here the Queen of Swords. It's um, the vibration here, I'm finding it to be very similar to the Strength card where you 
are a lot in your power now. You've probably started saying no to things or situations which don't serve you. You're not afraid anymore. It's a very fearless energy which I'm seeing here from you. And with all the butterflies allowed massive transformation. And I also feel for some of you, you are helping other people transform. For some of you, I feel like that is your life purpose. You're meant to go through all this so you can help people around you here to transform, maybe help them get rid of their fears, their anxiety, their relationship issues, or, you know, however you can help them. It's, I see so many things around. So it's like you would be helping other people here to overcome their obstacles, to overcome their issues. You have a very high purpose, I'm sensing from this. And again, that is not something I feel you're seeing it yet because right now you're working so much here on yourself. Okay, but very soon I feel like once you do realize that you're very confident about it, I feel that some of you here are going to help other people. Maybe you already feel from within that that is something you would like to do. You would like to um, help other people in their journey, but you might not have taken any action yet. So here I feel that now you need to slow down more on working on yourself and you could start working towards improving other people's lives there. Peace, this is something which would be coming into your life. Peace. You are going to feel very, very peaceful, Pi One. There is just, even this process of helping other people is going to make you feel very peaceful. I feel that you are going to hear something important really soon. The spirits want to say there is some news here which is going to come to you very soon. And that is going to make you feel very relieved. Maybe it's something you've been waiting for since a really long time. Maybe it's an approval which you've been waiting for. There is something here which some of you could be waiting for. If it is, you'd be hearing that good news very, very soon. And it's like they want to say that most of your bad times there, you've overcome it. And that's why they are so proud of you, Pawan. And now your life there would be just moving towards the betterment. Your life will just keep improving now. We have your dissipating. Now with this, I'm seeing as someone who is very relaxed. And with the yellow, I'm getting a very positive and vibrant energy there. I feel like what all this is telling you now is to step back and just relax a little bit. Okay, from this eight of pentacles, you need to move to this stage where you're very, very calm and allow things here to flow in your life. You've probably been working so hard and you've been used to fighting for things, you know, like in your work as well, you feel the more effort you put in, the more abundance is going to flow into your life. But here I feel now things are going to change slightly for you, okay? If you slow down here and you do understand how energy works, okay, all that abundance is still going to flow in your life and you are going to feel like you're not working that much yet yet the positive energy, yet all the abundance is flowing to your life. This I see as someone who's very relaxed and things are just flowing in this person's life there. And you've overcome major, major issues, I'm sensing. If you're still in that process, like I said, you're still not seeing the light, but this peace card is a significator that positive things is there for you and you are going to feel it so soon. With writing here, I'm sensing like, like I said, there is a lot of inspiration which you can give other people, I'm sensing from this, and you're, you have the back of your spirit guides. They are helping you, okay? If that is what your passion is, if that is what you intend to do here, I feel your spirit guides here is there in your journey. They're helping you, they're supporting you here to inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. This could be something very significant here for a lot of you watching. There is a healing energy there which you can provide. There is inspiration here which you can provide. There is so much now which you can provide to the world. And that is going to make you feel so much more peaceful, I'm sensing. And you have the back of your spirit guides. I feel a lot of you as well, if you feel a lot of anxiety, if you're feeling any um, emotions, if you pen it down, address it to your spirit guides, that is going to change as well things for you. I don't know why, I just sense that. 
Okay, so it's like write a journal or write a letter there to your spirit guides, addressing them so they can help you heal that issue. That's so beautiful, Pawan. I really, really hope you resonated with this. And if you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I am currently offering a tarot and a soul reading, and the soul reading is extremely beautiful. I can't explain it. If you want more information, you can find that in my um, description below. I've um, set up a link over there. All right. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome, pal, to all those who've chosen the white heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So we're now going to look into what your spirit guides want to say to you. Okay, so we have here five of pentacles, eight of pentacles, okay, chaos and conflict, passion, counseling, five of swords, and six of pentacles. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Pile two. I just get a vision for a lot of you that your spirit guides are wiping your tears away. There could be for some of you where you are going through a lot of pain. It's like very intense. And sometimes you just can't control it. And I feel like you might not be even sharing this with anyone and you're just on your own. And then I feel that's when your spirit guides step in and they help to wipe your tears away. And I feel here they want to say that, you know, this is a life here which you had chosen. It's because you felt you could do it and you can do it, they want to say. So please don't give up. Don't lose hope. Okay, because if you've chosen this, you also have the courage and the strength to overcome this situation. And they are supporting you. They are there with you. They've always been there with you. Wow, it's a very intense energy here, Pal too. There could be a lot which you're going through as well. We have a chaos and conflict, five of pentacles, five of swords. This all just shows like the inner turmoil here which you're going through. There is just it's just a lot. And some of you probably, you know, could have had this emotional breakdown where you just don't know what to do. You don't know how to go about it. And some of you have given up, but some of you are still fighting, I'm feeling. So for those of you who have given up, I feel the spirit guides want to tell you, do not give up. But here it feels like do not give up on yourself. Okay. If there is another connection or relationship, for example, which uh, which is the reason for your pain, right? And here I feel they want to say, like, do not give up on yourself, not about the person. Regardless of the person here, you need to work on yourself. You need to work on your own healing here. So here I feel that you need to remove the focus here on everyone and anything else and focus on yourself. And if you focus on yourself, that is going to help you to realign yourself and be on track again. So I think what's happening here is that a lot of you here are putting your focus on someone else. And that is what is causing you a lot of pain and anxiety. All right. So if you refocus it and put that attention towards yourself, you're going to see massive, massive results with that. We have your counseling. So some of you, if you want, you could even go for counseling if you feel like, you know, um, you're finding it too difficult here to... Um, gathered a grip on your own so it's absolutely fine here if you want to speak to someone so they can just help you we all need that all of us need that because sometimes you find it very difficult to pick up ourselves but if someone else helps us to get up it just makes it much easier so yes they want to say that whatever situation you are in right now they are there with you they're helping you they're helping you to pick yourself up. And I feel in their own ways here, maybe you were meant to come here to hear this message, to hear that, ask for help. Don't try fighting it on your own. Ask for help. And if you do ask for help, they are there to help you, even for your spirit guides. Ask for help from them. Because 
we all have a free will and they do not interfere in our lives till we ask them to. So if you ask them as well for their support and guidance in their own way, they'll bring miracles in your life. So it is an internal turmoil here, definitely, which you're dealing with. It could be because of other people as well for what you're feeling. And with Five of Swords coming up here is someone who is in pain and someone else is the cause of the pain here. So I feel for a lot of you, it is someone else here who is the root cause of your pain. But of course, it is hurting you. Um, at the end and you, you are responsible for your own lives not for the other person's life so we need to start working here on ourselves yeah we have eight of pentacles some of you could be overworking just to divert your mind okay if that's the situation as well that is again going in the other route that should not be the case work as much as your body and mind allows it do not overdo it just to escape this emotion I feel here that do not try escaping, face it, face the situation there, don't run away from it. No matter how painful here, do not run away from it, pal Chu, you are very, very strong, okay? Again, go for coaching, go for um, whatever, therapy and everything to help you to become stronger and to enable you to face the situation no matter what happens, no matter what. Now. I really want to say this for a lot of you, the Six of Pentacles, that you have a very beautiful heart. Your spirit guides who want to say that you are such a generous soul. You are such a beautiful soul here, I must say. It's like you don't hesitate here to help someone with anything. You are such a pure soul, pal, too. And that's the reason why you've also been extremely hurt because you don't think bad of anyone. You always see the good in other people, the light in other people. And your aura as well is such that people can feel your pure energy. When you go somewhere, when you say something, it's like your aura here just expands. And I feel that everyone and everything around you just blooms because of your beautiful aura. But I feel here as well that a lot of you could be empaths where you're taking on as well other people's um, emotions I'm sensing here. It could be that you're an empath and it could be for some of you as well that actually you are a counselor here meant to help other people heal. But it is your beautiful, beautiful soul here, pal too. And that I feel as well is... Um, could be potentially the reason as well for a lot of pain because you're taking in too much and you are a nice person okay i don't feel that you here have the capacity to hurt someone else if you can see this there is a sword here behind this girl's back and this other person is walking away so you you know you're such a person where you'd prefer taking pain rather than providing that with someone else and here as well i see you just enduring so much so much pal too and that's why i feel here that you need to put a lot of focus on yourself be a bit more self-centered it's very difficult for you because of the kind of person you are but that doesn't mean being selfish it just means of taking care of your emotions being in control here of your feelings and your emotions and with the passion card here Okay, the spirits here want to say that there is something here which you are very passionate about extremely. But that passion of yours probably could be on hold because of what whole situation you're going through. Or maybe you lack the belief that you can do it. And here I feel that your passion is one thing which is standing out among all of this. So if you start following your passion, you're going to see this bright light within you. You're going to see that you've started smiling again. You've started enjoying life again and life is a bit more beautiful than what you would expect so follow your passion follow your heart here pal too this is going to take you a really really long way this is one card here which is standing out amongst the rest so follow your heart what you are passionate about okay that is extremely extremely important if there's any course you need to take to upgrade your passion you could do that as well but I feel that with your passion, you are going to benefit other people in some way or the other here. Whatever your passion is, whatever, in some way or the other, 
directly or indirectly, you would be helping people and improve their lives. Even if it's your passion is painting, for example, you might wonder how can painting do it, but it can. If someone here buys a painting and they really admire your piece of art, that probably is going to help them to cool down and to relax. Could be a form of meditation for them looking at a picture. So in some way or the other, as I said, you would be helping our people. You are just such a beautiful soul. And with counseling, I feel that once you are working here on yourself, once you do put your own life on track, some of you as well could land up here healing other people and helping other people by being a counselor. But first, I feel that you need to get counseling done to shape your life and to be on track for your life. So you have that capacity and that confidence there to help other people in that journey. Right, pal two, I really hope you resonated with this. I am offering a personal tarot and soul reading. So soul reading is something very, very interesting. I would recommend you all to have a, a look at it. The description is there. Um, sorry, the link is there in the description below so you can go and have a look. And of course, if you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome, pal two, all those who've chosen the blue heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into what your spirit guides want to say to you. Okay, so nine of pentacles, three of pentacles, yeah. observer, service, builder, Six of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. Right, Pile 3. I'm sensing from this that your Spirit Guides here is very pleased with where you've come so far. They're very happy with your journey and they feel like even going forward, you have the capacity to increase your fortune and to bring so much abundance more into your life. They know that things have not been easy for you, but you are working on it very well and that's why they're so pleased with it. So um, one thing here is that you probably rely a lot on yourself and some of you here I feel um, could be lacking the faith on someone else or trust on someone else to help you. So this is one thing which they feel like you should consider, which is collaborating. We have it a nine of pentacles. So some of you are very used to um, working on your own or relying on yourself. Even if, of course, you're working in an office environment, it could be where um, you feel that you're not able to trust someone else all the time, or even if it's not regarding work, in regards to your personal life, you feel like if you trust someone else at times could be really painful. So you land up trusting yourself much more than someone else. And here I feel your spirit guides want you here to consider trusting other people as well. It doesn't mean having blind faith, but it does mean on trusting that there are good people around, there are people as well who can help you to grow quicker. Because here you are working on yourself, but you know, it's like we do not have all the knowledge in the world on our own. Even if we try uh, gaining that knowledge and that inspiration, we need other people to provide us that knowledge. Because, for example, we wouldn't know, um, well, we wouldn't know dancing and singing at the same time. We need someone out there to teach it to us. We cannot teach that to ourselves. Dancing, probably, yes, singing, I'm not sure of it. But, you know, so it's like you need to understand that you need other people as well to help you grow in your journey. And that is going to make your journey quicker and process things faster. Because here I feel you're doing all on your own, okay, which you're doing brilliantly, but it's just making this uh, more lonely for you. And they don't want you to feel that. They want you to feel like you are surrounded by people out there who really mean the best for you. They are nice people and they are good people out there as well. Everyone is not the same. Okay. With Observer, so it's probably you take time there to 
trust people. So they're fine with it. They'll be like, take as much time there as you want. Observe someone as much as you want. Go through all the pros and cons and then decide. But do decide. Okay, do decide here to um, consider other people, other people's skills and everything. And that is going to help you to be more abundant. That collaboration there would help you to make things easier. For example, even if you're having like this YouTube videos, if you have someone else as well who is doing the editing for you, you can concentrate more on the other side of things, right? On the recording side of things um, and leave the editing part to someone else. And that is going to be a beautiful collaboration between two uh, people with their own unique gifts and skills. And it's going to bring out results and that is going to turn things for you very, very quickly. You have the capacity of, you know, building things on your own, but that is just going to slow down the process for you. So it feels here like you need to have more faith here on other people. The way people have faith on you, because I do feel from this, the service card, that many people trust you tremendously. You're someone so trustworthy and it's just with their eyes closed there, they can trust you. But is there someone you can trust in that same way? Is it? So you need, you need to find someone whom you can trust the way people trust you. And that is going to make you feel so much more relaxed. And it's going to bring just double your abundance here in your life. And there is something here which you need to create, okay? I feel you, the spirit guides want to say that there is a very big thing here which um, you need to create, but you can't do this on your own. For example, you can't construct a building on your own. It's not possible. You need few people to help you in that process. And that's how I'm sensing this. So there is a very big project out there. There is something here. Maybe it's your desire to, you know, create something. Maybe you want to start a new business. There could be something there which you want to start and create. Okay. And here they're saying that you can't do this on your own. So you need to start right now looking for those people whom you can trust. And collaborate with them and create this dream of yours. There is something you're very, very big which um, which you need to create, Paltry. But I feel that whatever it is, it needs more than one pair of hands. So something to consider. And then we have it a wheel of fortune. So whatever the situation is, as I said, when you have your few people here. This wheel of fortune is going just going to go round and round. It's just going to move and spin so fast for you. I feel like all the abundance, all the things which you've been working for, it's going to come in much quicker in your life, very, very quickly. And, you know, for this wheel of fortune as well, for example, if you have two people spinning the wheel, it's going to spin much more faster than with one person just spinning it, no matter how strong they are right? So that's what I'm feeling here, that your guides here want to say that allow, allow other people to enter your life, even allow your guides to enter your life. Maybe you're not even allowing them over there to help you. Write down to them, speak to them and allow them as well to step into your life and to help you here in your life journey. They don't want this journey of yours to be alone. They feel that that is not who you are. You're meant to build things with people and do things for people. So it's like by the people and for the people. Yes, you've been doing things on your own. You've been doing extremely well, but there is a limit to how much you can accomplish with that. And this big goal, this big idea there, which is coming up for that, it's very difficult to do things on your own pile three. So you need to start there bringing people in your life. Okay, start right now, it seems. I don't know why it's such an urgent thing I'm feeling. It could be maybe you've had some form of dream, but you've not taken any action towards it, thinking that it's too big to be true. Right? And, okay, I'm also getting this for some people. If you're having a problem in your relationship or connection here, take help. Take help here of any relationship counselor or something. Allow someone else to intervene and to help you. That is going to help as well, the two of you in this. So it's like, don't try doing this on your own anymore. There is so much you can take here. Allow, allow other people, allow someone else here to intervene in your situation so they can help you. 
okay? They can help you here to hold yourself and to improve your life again. Oh, pile three, I hope you resonated with this message from your spirits. And um, I'd like to say that I am offering a tarot and a soul reading. And the soul reading is something very different and beautiful. I've uh, put up the link on my description box below. So if you get time, please do have a look. And again, if you resonated with this reading, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye.